Hello and welcome. Let's talk about antimetic drugs. Now, pathophysiology of vomiting. Vomiting center is located in the lateral medullary reticular formation of brainstem. Coordinated complex act of the vomiting through interaction with cranial knobs and neural networks in the nucleus tractus solitarius that control respiratory, salivatory, and vasomotor center. M1, H1D2, and 5HD3 receptors are the plenty in vomiting center. Now, five afferent input to the vomiting centers include CTZ, vestibular system, irritation of the pharynx, vagal and spinal afferent nodes from the GIT and CNS. Now, this is a picture showing the pathway or the pathophysiology of vomiting and the drugs acting against the vomit or antimetic drugs. Now, hyacin, 5HT3 antagonist, metacopromide, metacopromide, tumperidone, these are the mechanism of action of different antimetic agents now antimetic drugs this includes 5 ht 3 receptor antagonists like onancetron granicetron doracetron and palonicetron dopamine d2 receptor antagonists like metocopramide domperidone droperidol phenothiazines s1 antagonists like diphenhydramine diminhydrinate miclizine antimuscarinic like hyoscine menzodiazepam like digipam lorazepam corticosteroid like dexamethasone, therpenicillin, neurokinin, receptor antagonists like apripitant, cannabinoids like dronabinol and cisapride. Now, metocopamide or demporidone. D2 receptor blocker in the CTZ center and also have prokinetic action. Domperidone. It is extremely well tolerated. It does not cross broadband barrier and no CNS action like extrapyramidal or neuropsychiatry. Metocopamide. It is extra pyramidal dystonia, gynecomastia, lactation, motor restlessness, and diarrhea. Now, clinical uses nausea and vomiting associated with GH disorders, gastroesophageal reflex disorders, impaired gastric emptying, non ulcer dyspepsia, postpartum lactation stimulation, where domperidone is used. Now, adverse effects metrocopomide shows restlessness, drowsiness, insomnia, anxiety, agitation and extra pyramidal effects like dystonia, akathisia and parkinsonism and tardive dyskinesia. Both metrocopomide and domperidone shows increased productive level leading to galactoria, gynecomastia, impotence and menstrual disorder. Now, serotonin or 5-HT3 antagonists, these include drugs like onancetron, granicetron, dorocetron and paronocetron. Pharmacokinetics, half-life is 4 to 9 hours where palonocetron has 40 hours of half-life. All undergo exchange of phosphorus metabolism, excreted by liver and kidney, and equal tolerability and efficacy. Palonocetron is longer acting and greater affinity for 5-HT receptor. Now, clinical uses. Chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting, post-operative nausea and vomiting, post-radiation nausea and vomiting, and nausea and vomiting caused by the acute gastroenteritis and acute medical illness. Adverse effects include it is well tolerated and extremely safely propelled, while adverse effects include headache, dizziness, constipation, and prolonged QR interval. Now, treatment of the various forms of vomiting. In the case of motion sickness, hyacin, diamine, hydrinate, diphenamine, these are used. In drug induced vomiting, metoclopramide, clopramazine is used. In vomiting due to cytotoxic drugs, onacetone is used. And for vomiting after GA, metoclopramide, onacetone, haloperidol are used. For vomiting with pregnancy, Promethazine is used and for vertigo and labyrinthic disorders, cyclizine and phenothiazines are used. End of the topic.